Hi everyone. Welcome back to Frappe School. This is the fifth and final chapter in our project management course. Today, we will discuss the customer portal and various reports available in the project module in ERP Next. By the end of this chapter, you will know how to view projects via the customer portal, monitor project progress, view project billing summary, view project reports. We know that clients are important stakeholders in any project and sharing data with them is essential to make sure they are updated on the status of a project. In ERP Next, we can automate this to save time. We can create an inclusive and collaborative process by allowing clients to log into ERP Next via a portal and view the status and other relevant details. ERP Next makes sure that only the data relevant to specific projects and only relevant data points are made available to the clients. Moving on to reports, it is necessary to keep an eye on employee productivity, billing, profitability and material consumption for any and all ongoing projects. Regular monitoring of the status of a project will help make sure that the project is running smoothly and within budget. Project reports in ERP Next helps us keep track of project progress. Let's see the customer portal and reports in action in ERP Next. Let's start with exploring the customer portal. The customer portal allows customers to log into your ERP Next instance and view relevant data like projects, tasks, timesheets, shipments, etc. You can control what details are made available on the portal via portal settings. You can enable or disable the visibility of records here. You can create contacts against customer records. And invite them to access the system. System will automatically create a user record when you invite the contact. You can select the user record in all the projects in order to allow them access. The system will create a welcome email. Customers can log in via the link in the email. After logging in, customers can view records relevant to them and can also communicate via comments. Users can also add new tasks. The look and feel of the portal is very different as very minimal data is exposed via the portal for security reasons. Now, let's move on to exploring some reports essential to project management. The first one we will see is the daily timesheet summary. We can find the daily timesheet summary in the project module under the reports section. 
This report gives details about all the timesheets submitted by the users. We can filter this report using a date range. The next report we will explore is the Project Billing Summary Report. We can find this under the Report section in the Project Module. As we can see, this report helps us analyze billing based on each project. We can select a date range and a specific project to filter this report. The report shows an employee-wise billing list. The report only shows the timesheets with the billable checkbox selected. If the timesheet is not marked as billable, it will not appear in the report. The third report we will explore is the Employee Billing Summary. We can find this report by searching for it in the awesome bar. This report is similar to the Project Billing Summary report, but it shows an employee-wise summary of billing details. We can add a date range and define an employee to make this report more specific. The next report we will explore is the Project Profitability report. This report shows us profitability of projects for which we create salary slips based on the timesheets created by employees. For other projects, we can use Profitability Analysis Report. We can find this report under the Report section in the Project Module. Here, we can see that this report shows the profitability and utilization of each employee based on the timesheets that have been generated. The report shows timesheet data, salary slips created based on the timesheets, and any sales invoice data created using the timesheet. We can filter this report by adding a date range or filter by customer or employee. The last report we will explore is the project-wise stock tracking report. We can find this report under the report section in the project module. This report helps analyze all stock movements carried out for different projects. It contains the costing details of these stock movements as well. We've explored all the reports in the project module. Before we end this chapter, let's see how the project dashboard looks overall. We can go to the project dashboard by clicking on the dashboard in the project module. The project dashboard is a summary of task trends. As we can see here, it shows the average task completion rate, the total number of tasks, total completed task, and total overdue task in a color-coded graph format. We can filter this dashboard based on various values such as if the task is active or not, or filter it based on the status of the task. We can even apply filters based on project type and priority. The last feature we will explore is the auto email report feature. This feature allows us to send reports to users at regular intervals. Open any report and click on settings and then on setup auto email. Here, we can see if any auto email reports have already been created and we can add a new one by clicking on add auto email report. We can use the filter data section to ensure a report is sent only if it contains data. We can also define the number of maximum rows in a report here. We can customize the report filters like project, and the date range from the report filter section. In the dynamic report filter section, we can add a time period to make sure the report is customized according to that. For example, we can pick weekly and define a date range as well. Next, we will add the users to whom we want to email this report. We will add each user on a new line and select the report email frequency. For example, we can select monthly and select a format. 
We can even type in a message to send along with the email in the message section if we want. This brings us to the end of the fifth chapter in our project management course. I hope this helped you understand how the customer portal works and how to use ERP Next to view reports in the project module. You can read more about ERP Next on docs.erpnext.com. Thank you.